Hello, this is Ed Ness, President and CEO of Munson Healthcare. The COVID-19 pandemic is unlike anything any of us have ever experienced. Across the country, in the state of Michigan, and in our own communities, people have lost their loved ones. Husbands and wives, grandparents, parents, brothers and sisters and friends to this terrible virus. The human toll of this pandemic cannot be underestimated and my heart aches for all of those who've been directly impacted by its path. At the same time, important public health efforts such as social distancing guidelines are impacting our nation's economy in ways that have not been seen since the Great Depression. Businesses everywhere and across most industries are struggling to stay afloat and have had to change their operations dramatically as a matter of survival. The healthcare industry is no different. The governor's executive order, which I fully support, postponed elective procedures and outpatient visits in order to control the spread of COVID-19. This has had a significant impact on Munson Healthcare. In some of our locations, we're seeing a 50 to 60% drop in our volumes. We aren't doing elective outpatient surgeries. Many of our operating rooms are empty. And many of our outpatient clinics have temporarily closed their doors. Our gift shops are closed. Our cafeteria and retail pharmacy look drastically different. We're not holding community health classes and events like we were before. The list goes on and on. So just like our local restaurants and retail stores, hotels and resorts that are seeing fewer customers, we're seeing fewer patients, and that has caused a dramatic economic and operational ripple throughout our entire organization. We are currently projected to lose between seven and $10 million a month as long as the situation continues. Over the last few weeks, our main focus has been caring for our COVID-19 patients and preparing for the possibility of a COVID-19 patient surge in our area. The reality of our situation is that we don't know when that surge of patients will hit Northern Michigan. Thanks to social distancing efforts, we might be able to flatten the curve. Because our work looks just so much different than it did just a month ago, we are continuing to move forward with a number of difficult but necessary decisions. Depending on the department and location, some managers and employees are being asked to work reduced hours. Other staff are being furloughed, which means they will temporarily not have working paid hours, but will maintain their benefits and employment once in healthcare. Others are being redeployed to do different kinds of jobs that are needed today because their regular duties don't exist right now. These adjustments are being made at every level of our organization. I want to assure you that our leadership teams and executives are doing their part as well. All senior leaders at Munson Healthcare, vice presidents and above, including myself, are taking pay cuts which will result in compensation reductions of at least 20%, depending on the position. Other strategies we are employing to address the economic impact of our organization include an immediate freeze in capital and building projects. We are also working aggressively to make sure that Munson Healthcare receives its fair share of funding available from the state and federal governments, including stimulus packages, emergency funds, and FEMA money. We have tried desperately to minimize the impact of COVID-19 on our organization, but the reality is we can't sit by and do nothing. We must act now to ensure that Munson Healthcare can serve its community for the next 100 years because the people of Northern Michigan are counting on us. This is a delicate and difficult balance because we are working day in and day out to care for our community at a time when they need us more than ever. It is an understatement that say these are challenging times. However, we've been through challenging times before and we are resilient. I am confident that these measures will be short-lived and we will return to being the vibrant, stable healthcare system we were before all of this happened. Finally, as a family of healthcare colleagues and providers, we care deeply about one another and the patients and the communities we serve. We can't thank you enough for your ongoing support through this crisis. Personally, I'm proud to live in Northern Michigan and to have raised my family here. In times of crisis, it's humbling to see community members supporting each other and their local healthcare system. Everything we are doing now to adjust our operations during this time is to ensure that we can continue to deliver high quality health care to you and your family for many more years to come. Thank you.